everybody. This is Andrew back here on the XB Craft server. Welcome you to another episode. Thank you for joining me so much. Great to be back. I know it's been a while. I've been on vacation. There's been some other things IRL in my real life that is uh, take going going on taking place, uh, both uh, home and job and and all of that. So it's a uh, it's been a busy time. So the videos have dropped off a, a little bit. Uh, I do apologize about that. Go try to be better, but uh, some of that stuff is still going to be going on for probably the next. Uh, next couple three maybe even three weeks maybe even a month so uh, just bear with me uh, appreciate your patronage your viewage and uh, just stick around we'll get we'll get we'll get more out we'll get going but all right so where we are now as you can see we're hanging out over here under the under the cabanas by the little campfire and yeah I have myself a little buddy uh, but we'll talk about him in a little bit. What I want to do first is get you caught up on a couple of events that happened that I, I got footage on. Uh, I want to I you know, bring you up to speed. One is I had the opportunity, if you remember a few, few couple, three episodes ago, uh, I placed an order with Rain uh, for a couple of, couple of pooches, like my little buddy here. Well, we finally were able to uh, hook up with Rain and get, get that order fulfilled. So, without further delay, how about we check out that footage and see how that went. Alright, back in just a little bit. Alright, we are here. And I know Storm is down that way, but let's say, uh, let's announce ourselves. We're here. There he is. Hey, Rain. Not too much. We're down here in the nether. Uh, just hoping to take ownership of a couple of doggies. Yeah, woohoo. Where did I go too far? Oh, oh, almost went too far. Oh, I need some, some chow here for the chicken. Oh, this first one right here. Alrighty, cool. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, the wolves. Alright, let's try that. Up oh, there we go. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. I got Nikki and Merlin. Woohoo! That works great. This is outstanding. I love the service you provide here. This is pretty good. And we'll say Nikki will go with a red and Merlin will go with a blue for right now. I may end up changing the colors a little later, I'm not sure, but we'll go with that. Right. You and you. I think I might need to get you to stand up first. Yeah, there we go. All right. Come on, guys. All right. The, uh, okay. Excellent. We are on our way back to my surf shack then. All right. Can you keep... Yeah, you're keeping up with me on the run here. That's cool. Back over to... Back over to Surf Shack Central. All right. Got them back. And they're both seated. Oh, you guys are so well behaved. <laughs> very, very good stuff. I like that. Thank you very much, Rain. I got myself a couple of pooches. I am a one happy customer. Okay, welcome back. Yes, and as you saw, we had a successful delivery of my two new pooches, Nikki and Merlin, my buddies, and they are safely tucked away down in my storage room down there. So we'll meet up with them again in a little bit. But this guy, this guy right here, this guy is Steve. And why is he named Steve? Well, there's a there's a movie that I like. It's called uh, Over the Hedge. And there's a there's a line at the very beginning, near the beginning, when they first encounter the hedge, and they're trying to figure out what should they call it. Uh, if you haven't seen the movie, yeah, I really encourage you to go check it out. If you if you have seen it, you know what I'm talking about. And that's where Steve, that's where he came from. Uh, but now, well, that's where the name came from. Where did Steve come from? Well, it it was kind of a weird thing. Steve was I'm over here right off of the end of my my back porch uh, of my surf shack, and I'm doing some stuff there. I'm, I'm working on the 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 underground storage area and I'm going back and forth and I just happened to notice one of the times I was swimming around all of a sudden there was this, this pooch just poof there he was out of the blue I, I didn't call him he was he was not a wolf he was already tamed he was already obeying my commands it was just out of the blue it was the weirdest thing I've ever seen I've never had that happen to me before on a server on solo nothing but 
So, Steve it is. He's here. And I like my little guy. As you can see, he follows me around. Come on, there you go. See? So he's he is uh he's he is my uh third of the trio of pooches I now have. So Nikki and the Merlin are down below and Steve is here and he keeps me company up in the surf shack. So alright, but uh without further ado, we need to bring you up to speed on, on one more event that took place. And that was with my good buddy Taco. Uh, o o Takaro is his uh, YouTube and actual handle, but uh, we all call him Taco. He's a good guy. And he left me a little present over yonder on the boardwalk. So why don't we check that out now and see what it was all about? All right, back in a little bit. Alrighty, right here, Mr. Yeah. Shack. Yeah, and on the bridge here. You know what we need for materials on the. Um uh, another right. Uh, well, you the tunnels to, to the tunnels, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! I see a lot of lights are off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, there's some. It. This isn't a trap chest, is it? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's uh, a regular chest. All right. Please hit the record. But somebody was making dang sure that I hit that record button. <laughs> all right, so I know for one thing, I noticed that all the lights are go off on this thing. So I guess the cobble got used up. That's good. That's what it's here for. Now let's see. Let's uh, let's take a look here. Holy cow! There we go. There's some good stuff. That's some. Now that's not, that's a good barbecue right there. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Lots of chicken and some some uh, taco took all the cobble. You're <laughs> <laughs> taco needed even more cobble. And Taco need more Cabo, and Taco needed some Cabo. <laughs> yeah, that, that's good stuff. I like that. Taco needed, to, I guess you had to do it left to right. So Taco needed some Cabo, Taco needed more Cabo, then Taco needed even even more Cabo, and finally Taco took all the Cabo. <laughs> nice. I like that. I like that. That's good yeah. stuff. I really appreciate that. Yay! <laughs> Anytime, sir. <laughs> I oh. also feel some uh, goss here in your thing. Cause oh, you did? Yeah, I hunted down three guests. Oh, that's awesome, because I only had, like, one left in there. Oh, yeah. All right, cool. We got three guest tiers in there. Excellent. Now you have your payment, and, well, I'm out of here, I think. All righty. Well, hey, I appreciate that. That was awesome. Woohoo! <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Good stuff. All right, I catch you around next time. Have a nice evening. See ya! See ya. Peace. Bye. All right, I told you Taco was a cool guy. Yeah, he he took all the cobble that I had uh, amassed there going AFK, gave me a bunch of chickens and diamonds for it. That was awesome. Uh, and we'll we'll deal with that uh, with that diamond ore a little bit later. But for now, while uh, while Steve here apparently relaxes and gets comfortable, uh, how about we catch up with uh, with a another footage that I had of my trip out to the Ender Farm and then we'll just kind of pick it up as we go and continue on with the work that I've got out over here in my storage unit okay so we'll uh, we'll go from there and uh, let's let's get going alright here we go hey everybody we are out over here out at the Ender Farm it was a I don't think I've showed this off before in any of my videos but uh, Soleil he uh, he was the one that put this pretty much put all of this together. There may have been some some minor tweaks here and there by some of the others. I don't want to discount anybody, but uh, Salate uh, had the major hand in it, and it uh, is working pretty good. You can see all these uh, inner pearls. It is really full, but that's not what we're over here for right now. We're over here because, as you can see, uh, I don't have my armor on. I have it here in my inner chest. But I did have an incident I mentioned uh, with the lava earlier, and I believe I may have lost it there, or maybe it was something to do with the AF key. But my current armor, this is my backup set, and my current armor is gone. And I'm using the boots here from my backup set, but I noticed that I don't have respiration. I need respiration on the helmet. I did have a respiration book, which I took out of my, uh, my bookstore, but I don't have the levels to combine them and I only have one level of XP 
that's just not going to do. So we're over here. I'm going to whack away at these guys for a little while. I don't have any TNT, which is the quick and dirty way to do it. Uh, I'll have to craft some of that up. I completely forgot about that as I was coming over here. But So I'm just going to go ahead, take a, take a bunch of these guys out, get some XP, and uh, see pretty much you just come in here like this. They're all one-hit kills. And I, you can see the XP is just coming in pretty hot and heavy right now. Just whacking away with some chicken. And so I'm going to do this for a little bit, get my levels up, and so I can do some enchanting and do some combining and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, and we'll meet you back at the Surf Shack, okay? I'll be back in a little bit. All right, we're back at the Surf Shack again. We're done with the Ender Farm. I did a bunch of whacking, you can see there. I've got 26 levels of XP. I've got some armor here. I did my com combination or the combining of the respiration and the helmet there. We're looking good, all armored back up. Uh, I also grabbed a few... Uh, grabbed a few ender pearls while we're there. Stocked up my chest here. Good to go. All right. So now I have. I started a little work down here already. One of the things that we needed to do, and you might have seen this in previous videos, is this block here. Oh, by the way, and I also changed Merlin's co or color to to black. I just I, I like it. he's black. Nikki's red. I think that works great. So I need to reorient this portal, and that's what this uh, the the dirt here was all about. But I think what I want to do is move it over here, and I just kind of started doinking around, looking at how I was going to do that. And I think I also I want to change this entrance. I want to use a slime block launcher that will pop me right up out of the top, out of the ceiling, and then that way I can swim over and just drop right back down again. And I don't have this long tunnel weirdness kind of thing going on. It, it was it was convenient at first, but now that we're actually going to work in here, that's what I want to do. So, like I said, I, I need to kind of lay things out. I know I want to reorient the portal. I think I'm going to put it over here. And I'm thinking the slime block launcher over in this corner as opposed to in the center. Because I don't know what all I'm going to be doing in here as far as storage, as far as whatnot. And I'm thinking I'm just going to put it over here in the corner. Knock these uh, knock these out. I'll deal with the sand, deal with all that. It's going to be water coming in. It's going to be all kinds of uh, derpitude and derpness to the extreme. And yeah, you don't need to see me fumbling around with that. So let me get these things um, a little further along, get these things in place, kind of kind of flesh it out a bit, and we'll go from there. All right, I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, we're back here at the underground or underwater storage area, soon to be storage area. And the progress we've made so far, aha, uh -huh. I've torn out the portal. I moved it right over here, about where I was planning on doing it. And I put, uh, I believe that was uh, Anders, Anders said, the dirty wool, as XB likes to call it, on the other side uh, of that there. I know I had talked about putting the slime block launcher over in this corner, but I went ahead and put it over in this corner. And the reason for that is... And if I hold space, I pop right up into the water, and away we go. Now I spin around, you'll see I'm right under my base, is right here. So I just thought that instead of putting it out way over there, okay, putting it out way over there, that it, I didn't want the ice, I just wanted it to be clean, you know, ocean floor and whatnot. Uh, but so all I had to do, and it's just right here, and I can just drop right in, and away we go, and we're down here in my storage unit. So now uh, I guess I just need to kind of open the space up a little bit, figure out how I'm going to lay the chests out in here, what kind of storage that I want to do, and uh, yeah, and see about the walls. So I'll get to work on that, and we'll be back uh, in a little while. All right, see you in a bit. All right, got a little progress. Are you ready for a quick reveal? Okay, check it out. Look at what we've got here. All right, I went ahead and slabbed the floor here so that uh, we should prevent any kind of spawns. I know there's these blocks right here should all be good. 9, 10, 9, 10, 9, 10, 9, 10. They should be just fine. No spawns happening in there. I went ahead and did this up with the, what do we call this one? This is Prismarine, and then, uh, well, they're both coming up. Pris or prismarine brick and just prismarine. Oops, wrong key. Uh, so prismarine brick and prismarine along the the chute or the shaft here of our, our drop shaft. 
put some leaves around here because the slime blocks don't stick to the leaves and got some lights uh, top and bottom you can see right there uh, the portal is indeed moved and I did some uh, this is diorite I always want to say anderson but it's diorite polished diorite around the the edges and then just regular diorite uh, along the floor the walls and whatnot so we've got a nice start on a huge huge uh, storage area here I believe this is uh, that's five vertical and then one two three four five six seven uh, wide so that gives us a nice chest uh, 35 chests there uh, I like that and that'll give us now I believe what I want to do I'm thinking in my head until I actually do it I'm not sure but the idea in my head is to repeat this over on on this side somehow and then I'm thinking and I brought down with me I've got a bunch of blue stained glass and I'm thinking I might replace I was talking about before that I wanted to from up up top to have a, a look natural but I'm thinking I might replace this with glass uh, give it like a like a dome ceiling kind of it but not a dome I'm just gonna like replace the natural slope uh, of it so that it just uh, like if you were to snap your fingers and it would turn into glass this is basically what I want it to look like so yeah and I think I'll do that and I'm thinking the the our furnace array over here I might do maybe nether brick uh, on either side and I was thinking up top here unless I need it for something else I don't which I don't think I was thinking what if I put behind glass like lava or something just to give it that uh, that smelter that industrial look so I'm thinking about that so that's where we're at so far this is a uh, progress report so let me can uh, continue on and we'll see where we get all right okay Nikki Merlin hey yeah uh-huh yep Hey, little guy. Yeah, uh huh. There you go, girl. All right, we'll be back. <laughs> See you in a bit. All right, we've got some more progress going on, as we saw last time. Was the chests here? I've gone ahead and continued the prismarine blocks and the leaves and the lanterns uh, along this wall. I've gone ahead and opened up the top, as you can see here, opening it to the sky, and you can see there's the boardwalk over there and you can just make out the glowstone lamps really don't see much of the boardwalk but that's just fine uh, it wasn't really meant to be a showpiece uh, I'm gonna create a second I'm gonna call it like this like a like a, a pod or a group of chests here we've got one here and I'm gonna do another one here so I can maybe do like building materials in one decoration materials in another I don't know I'll figure out what kind of organizational system that I want I just know that I need a lot of storage and I don't mind having it here because uh, I can always transport it to a base further out later on but now if I just take a step back you can notice it's something that uh, most of us that suffer from OCD actually that would probably be CDO because then the letters would be alphabetical but anyway for those of us that uh, suffer from OCD the portal here is not quite centered so what I'm thinking is this edge if I scoot it over one so that I have one this this uh, row right here so if I have that as a prismarine block and I have this one as a prismarine block then I'll have the obsidian coming down here and the obsidian coming down here and that will give me a one two three four wide portal so um, I'm gonna go ahead and scoot this guy over a little bit uh, for the next update and then I need to go get some more uh, diorite, probably go run over to my branch mine, and I, you see here I put prismarine behind it. It gives it a little bit lighter uh, a color, it kind of li lights it up a little bit, makes it a little more vibrant, a little more fresh, and so what I'll probably end up doing is I'll just dig around here from behind, and I'll go and replace the back side of this one with the prismarine as well. And I'm also more than likely I'll probably continue doing uh, opening up the the top. Uh, I don't know. We we might uh, that because right there is my tree collector, right up top. You can see there's the little uh, the the corner of it right there. So I don't know. I might uh, replace this. What you see this face. Uh, I might replace that with uh, maybe with uh, diorite or. Uh, I don't know what well, we might do that and then just flatten the roof out here the ceiling rather flatten it out uh, I don't know we'll, we'll play with it see how it works see how it goes see what I feel like so all right that's where we're at right now uh, I'm gonna go get some more supplies 
move some things around and continue on. We'll be back in a little bit. All right, everybody. Hey, we are back. Uh, and as you can see, my surf shack looks a little different. Yes, it does. Look, I removed the chests in here. I've kind of brought it back to a bit more basic look with, uh, you know, like kind of way back at the initial starting, you know, way back at the beginning with just some ovens, a crafting bench, uh, a chest, uh, anvil, brew station, ender chest, bed, you know, just the, the necessities kind of thing. Uh, these are all gone over here, but actually I moved them over there. Uh, I still have these chests to deal with, but where all this stuff went? Well, it's right down here. Let's head on down to the bottom, and as you can see, I've started to get some more item frames, started to fill all this out, started to organize. I have chests in both of these. I put a crafting bench, an anvil, and an ender chest down here below. I finished off, uh, just kind of kind of finished this this theme. I really like this with the the prismarine block, sea lanterns, the leaves all the way around to the other side. So the next thing that I want to do is actually really about the last thing to do down here really is the furnace arrays. I've gone ahead and dug it out a little bit here uh, as far back as I think I'm going to need and I'm going to put the furnace arrays flush with the wall so that you have all this space to walk back in there and whatnot. We'll we'll do some some uh, little styling and, and profiling and whatnot as we get back there and this guy right here what I'd like to do right behind this glass so this uh, granite and stone and dirt you see right there I want that to be a wall of lava and I'm going to fill this top row back up there is going to be more nether brick it's just that this is pretty much all the nether brick I have that's where we're at that's progress report I'll be back it's just so neat to look up there you can see the stars and whatnot I don't know. Maybe I might have to get with Jello and see about doing some uh, creepy fish's uh, uh, evil brother-in-law or something over here. I don't know. <laughs> but we'll see. Anyway, all right. Uh, we'll be back in a little bit. Hey, everybody. We are back, and progress has been made. Here we go. I've got one side. Uh, uh, this is the furnace array. Put uh, resources in the top. Put fuel in the bottom. It will go over here and it will fuel these eight furnaces and we'll be able to smelt everything up, cook everything up. We can do bricks or food or whatever and it will dump everything into this chest over here when done. So just to demonstrate, a quick demonstration on how this works, I'll go and grab some fuel. And you see I've got some lava which is going to go in right there. Then it was over here. Where were there? It is okay. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do I have enough for? Okay, I have almost eight stacks. So what we're gonna do is I need to I need to cook all that up anyway because I I don't plan on using any nether rack anywhere. I want a lot of nether brick. So what I'm gonna do, what I'll do is I'll put all of my. And you can see I'm just shy of eight full stacks. Okay, and I know, we know that eight pieces of coal will cook an entire stack. So what I'll do is I'll put the coal in the fuel, and let me click that button, and away it goes. And that will just go back, because it, it drops off one piece of coal each time it runs over a furnace. There's hoppers in the back, you can see. So each time it is loading this guy up. Now seven, and now there's eight. And... My minecart is now empty, so we have eight in each. Oops, eight in each of these furnaces. Now I could load that cart up, and what it would do is it would just keep running back and forth and putting stuff in there. But I don't want to keep it going. I just want to use what I need for right now. And so our material is up in the top. So I'm going to have that one get started, and the same principle applies. Each time it runs over a hopper, it's going to drop one piece in there. So if we look here, you see it's four, now it's five. Give it a second, and there's six. Well, there's six, and seven, and there's eight, and so forth and so on. And it'll just, it'll just continue to fill that up until this chest is empty. And can we grab a quick peek at it? You can see, oops, you can see that it is uh, dropping down. So 
that'll fill up all of these furnaces. The all these furnaces will get smelting, and as we can see, we already look at that 24 another brick already in there. So that we're just going to let that guy do his work. Eventually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mirror this on this side, and I put a door back there. And all this door does, I'll just show you real quick. All this door does is allow me to get back here in case I need to, you know, tweak something. So that's all, or is you know, uh, kind of a a maintenance entrance kind of thing. All right. So now the finishing touch, as far you know, aside from yes, I still need to to do this side here, but uh, the finishing touch really is going to be filling this thing in with lava that one that one and fill that in voila i just had one extra just in case so there we go all right that is that is pretty much our storage room i just need to finish this side and we can call this call this bad boy done Hey everybody, we are back and as you can see I've got my hot bar full of the resources. We're here at my tree little tree farm. We're gonna pillar on up and yes, I have a fortune pick this time. So that isn't gonna happen again. Okay, let's we'll pillar up and then fortunate all the way back down and we'll see how much we get. Alright? Cue the music. go and as you can see by the hot bar we've got almost four stacks three and a quarter three and three quarter stacks of coal a couple of stack and a half of redstone five emeralds almost a full stack of lapis and what do you say we take a look at those diamonds oh look at that look at that almost two full stacks of diamonds oh that's awesome but we need to check and see if any fell in the hoppers so let's take a look at, oh, look at the 23 diamonds in that hopper. Oh my. Let's move the emerald over here, the lapis over here. Get a better count. And I think, let me eat real quick. Just OCD kicking in. So I want to get that out of the way. And let's check this hopper. Oh, look, more diamonds, more redstone, more coal. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty uh, pretty good to go on my wood supplies here, so I'm going to have to reorganize that. But that looks to be our total. two, Nearly two and a half stacks of diamonds, four and a half stacks of coal, almost two stacks of redstone, almost a full stack of lapis, and five emeralds. That, that's a heck of a haul, people. I like it. All right, well... That shall do it. That will do it. That is going to do it for this episode. Great to have you. Great to be back. I really I do apologize for the long delay. Just real life things going on. But uh, we're back. We've got a lot of stuff done this episode and we got more to do. Next time I think we'll probably tackle, well we got to finish up the uh, smelter down there. The little felter, uh, smelter array, and then also want to get working on the the nether portal uh, tunnel, if you will, the little nether room uh, into the hub. There, want to want to redo that and move the portal around and and hook it up to the the hub and transportation system and all all that good stuff. So we'll take care of that next time. So okay, until then, see you guys later. Bye bye.